Got a bill, still got my money. Oh, I hate that song. Let's just talk. We're just gonna go through um Will we consider this a fame lines video? I, I guess we would consider this a fame lines video. We're just gonna talk about a couple of things on here and yeah, so here we go. This is Fame Lines issue three. Get your life. Have y'all seen this? This is the funniest picture I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look. It's like, a, um, it's a girl with a milkshake and it says, where are the boys? I have a milkshake. <laughs> is this a, these are like the funny Instagram pictures I find. And there's another one with like, it's two little stick figure guys and one has a gun and he's like, he tells him to put his hands in the air and then the guy with the gun tell him, tells the other guy to wave him like he just don't care. And then the next one is the other guy like waving his hands, but he's all the while scared because the guy has a gun to him. And the guy, the guy with the gun is like, you care just a little bit. And he's still waving his hands like, no, I swear I didn't care. And he's telling lies. It's the funniest thing ever. I, you have to see it to laugh, okay? Don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. So here we go with the fame lines. First story, Kim... Who's emailing me? I'm not even responding. Kim Kardashian tweeted out her first... Um, her first Kim Kardashian picture since post-pregnancy in a bikini. And it is everything. Now, here's the thing about it. The people on her Instagram were dragging her for the gods, okay? People was coming for her, talking about some, aren't you a mother now? Have some class, all this good stuff. Let me tell y'all something. Kim Kardashian has been a mother for, what, five months? What the hell do you expect her to do? Walk around in a fucking turtleneck for the rest of her life? Why can't Kim Kardashian put on a bathing suit and show her ass? Like, I don't get... What do they? What do we expect out of Kim Kardashian? Like, this is the sexy, gorgeous, bodied Kim Kardashian. Like, why do we sit... What, what is the point? Why would you sit there and come for her like that? I, don't, I think it's rude. If Do you guys think otherwise? Do you think she needs to grow up? I mean, Kim Kardashian is, what, 30-something-ish? And still got a bomb-ass body. Bad as hell. Still sexy with the baby, with the little bit of baby weight she got left on her. I don't understand the big, the big deal. Like, why were people on her Instagram like straight dragging her? I think it's rude. Let me know what you guys think, cause I, I feel a certain way. Not only because I love Kim Kardashian, but because I think it's rude. <clears throat> Speaking of Kardashian shit, so these rumors about Chris being a transsexual. Here's the thing, because I read a couple of posts. This is an old story. I don't know if you guys remember, or at least the one from Media Takeout is old as hell. I remember this was published like maybe a year and a half ago. I remember reading it because it was, I read the the one from Media Takeout. Is there, there's a bump on my face. Oh, look at this. I don't want y'all to like think I'm gross and have y'all all on my nose, but look at this bump. It is so annoying. Can you see it? It's like right here. It's like a, a white head, and it's so annoying. Okay. I'm sorry. I just had. I just need to get that off of my chest or off of my face. But, um, yeah, the story is, oh, it's like the story that um, Kim went into Bruce and his mother's closet and found a bunch of dresses and stuff on Chris or on Bruce's side of the closet or something like that. This story is old. It's old as hell. And it's funny how somebody just, after the whole allegations of the separation came up, somebody decided to archive this story and now pull it back out. And that's for people who don't know any better. But for people like me who is into this shit, this is an old story. So pay this story of Bruce being a transsexual absolutely no attention. That's just my opinion. I, actually, that's my fact. I know it's an old story because I remember reporting on it back there somewhere, way, way back there somewhere. So, um, I'm not one to tell you what to believe, but I'm at least here to encourage you not to believe this story of Bruce Jenner being a transsexual or a crossdresser because it's an old story that was completely irrelevant and it was ruled to be false. And it's on it's Star Magazine. Who the hell believes anything from Star Magazine? Which is neither here nor there, but whatever. So, next story on the fame lines. Um, Timberland's wife. Somebody else got hit with this. And I want to I can't remember exactly what celebrity it was, but you guys may be able to extrapolate and tell me once I tell you guys what's going on. 
So Timberland's wife is fine. You know, Timberland, the rapper man, producer, excuse me. Well, I guess he was a rapper at one time. Her, his wife is filing for a divorce. Now, get this. Not a problem that you're filing for a divorce. Here's my problem. And it's not even a problem that you're suing for alimony. The problem is you want Timberland to pay child support for the child that isn't his. Now, there's somebody else in the world of celebrity who had the same issue. And we talked about it. I can't remember who it was. It was all on the news. And people were like, how the fuck can you expect somebody to pay child support and the child's not his? But there is in certain places in the, the continental U.S. where if you're taking care of a child... Was it Neo? It was Neo! God damn it, I gotta tell my cousin it was Neo. Y'all wanna say hi? Hello, Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> you make me sick. Okay, so guess what? We're in the middle of a video. However, they wanted to tell you hi, so say hi. Oh, hey. That was hey, a shot. Hey. Thank you. Respect my warriors. Okay, um, we're almost done, so we'll call you back. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. We're talking about Timberland and how his wife is suing him for child support for a baby that's not his. That is not funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all have to hear this. <laughs> but Neo had the same thing. The same thing went down with Neo. Remember on his Behind the Music? He was talking about how his girlfriend left him and he was taking care of that child. And then she sued him for the child, the child support. This is the same thing that happened with Neo. So it's a law somewhere where they can do that, apparently. Baby Mamas is coming up, apparently. Baby Mamas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. Okay, what's the, I have one more story, and I can't with you. Let me fast forward. Who is it? Um. Oh, Chris Brown. God damn it! Did y'all hear Chris Brown's new song and how he came for Rihanna? He basically he was rapping again. You know I hate any Chris Brown song where he raps. So he basically said, "Look, every girl or every dude in the industry smashed my girl, and I'm sitting here like, oh my god." And they talk about some I told you so, something like that. He came for Rihanna. So, to Chris Brown, I just have to say, ho, have a seat. We all know that Rihanna isn't the most conservative woman in the world. Well, we don't even know that for real. We just assume that. But stop coming for her, you miserable. You miss her. You miss Rihanna, Chris. Little Crash Bandicoot not doing it for you no more. That's probably exactly what it is. So, he wanted, he wants Rihanna back. It's fine. It's okay, Chris. It's okay to miss Rihanna. She is beautiful. She's gorgeous. So, I don't know. I'm sick of him. Is that it? Do we have any more? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the fame line. So, I love you guys for watching. Leave a comment in the Gotcha Gotcha Bar. Jeremy, say goodbye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, guys.